And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, today we're taking a look at Elite Alien Pact, the Project Elite Alien Pact. I mean, essentially, uh, this is an expansion for Project Elite. It's just a box full of aliens and plastic stuff. So, if you want more aliens, get it. Oh, you actually want to see the aliens? Well, just be prepared, I'm going to say that at the end, too. Okay, so you, first we have some new enemies here. These are all advanced versions of the regular enemies. And the Guardian and Eruptor are from the Adrenaline expansion, if you're wondering what they're from. So these are advanced versions. And essentially, the Biter and the Shooter um, all hit on a better roll. Three pluses, so they're just that more dangerous. The Runner and the Guardian are faster. And the Eruptor... Uh, is basically, I think there's, they're slightly faster or there's more of them. I'm not sure exactly why. They're, I hate these guys anyway. So they're blues. When you see them on the board, you're like, ah, slightly more dangerous. But anyhow, uh, these are only going to make your game harder if you put them in the deck. So if I put them in, I might take some of the green ones out. Oh, yeah. Speaking of green monsters, we have uh, four new of these green aliens. This slug he hits in a character within range of three plus. Doesn't move at all. Yay, there are six of them. Oh. Uh, the Rodox here has three hit points, and anyone within range two loses two life. So you got to get in, and you got to kill this sucker. Real pain in the neck. This guy moves three other creatures, I think. I'm not actually sure. I couldn't find it anywhere. Um, but, the, but he just looks nasty, and there's three of him. And then the Myriad of which there's six of, makes sense. Its movement's equal to the number of myriads in play. Yeah, you better kill these guys. This is a cool one, though. I like this one, and this is one I'll easily stick into the, the deck. It's not that it's much harder than others, and it has a different feel to it. And then there's some new bosses. This guy here, his life becomes six at the end of a round, which means you need to kill him in one round. Also, he's very spiky. Uh, this guy here, when he's killed, you put a spawning token on a space it's on. Wow, that's really cool. Yeah, not so especially. This guy here, when he's killed, you set it aside, and it spawns again. This guy just keeps coming back and back. No one likes him. And then Chronovore, when he's in play, the action phase lasts 20 seconds less. Yeah. No one likes this, especially if he's in play, the same guy where you have 10 seconds less. You're going to lose when that happens. Hey, there's a mega boss. Cthulhu, although I will say that when these models are this big, this is when you notice the lack of detail on them, unfortunately. Anyway, when he remains in play, everyone gets one action die less. I think you should, like, win when you beat this guy. I don't know. He's just huge and nasty. Again, you can decide whether to put him in the deck or not. Now, uh, besides these bosses, there are a whole pile of these tokens. These are mostly just for objectives. Uh, the objective things fit in them really nice, and it gives a three-dimensional look to the board, and it's easy to see where objectives are. I would almost get the set just for these because I really like this. It just adds kind of a nice layer to the board. So if you want more aliens, get it. Wait, I think I've already said that before. Yeah. Um, Project Elite Alien Pack is cool. I like the more aliens. This is, of the expansions, this is the one that I think you least need to get. Um, means I'm still going to keep mine because I want more aliens. But I'll stick a couple of the green aliens in the deck probably. Or the advanced aliens. Like I'll pick, I'll just shuffle them all together. Uh, all, I'll, I'll take all the green aliens from the original one and from any expansions. And, and these new advanced aliens. Shuffle them together and put like five of them in a the deck. Or something like that. And that way they're not overwhelming the deck, but they will show up. And I'm never sure which ones are going to show up. The boss is no big deal because uh, I might not put in the mega boss because it depends how much I want to have a tough time with the game or not. The, the new plastic, though, definitely we use that. So anyhow, more aliens. Yay! Dice Tower Judgment approved! Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Shut the door! Yeah.
Boo.